We're gonna get to the brush tool in just a second, but there's a couple tips I need to show you that will help you while you're making brushes. First of all, in the prior tutorials, I forgot to mention that you could just simply drag out a brush. You saw me do it a bunch of times, so I assumed you knew what I was doing. It's not really any one of these tools up here. This is just the default mode of shaping brushes. Now, when you're working with brushes, uh, there's a couple shortcuts you need to know, and this also applies to entities as well. So I'm, I'm gonna click here and I'm going to hit Control, Alt, and I, and that will hide the brush. Control, Shift, I, will bring it back. Now, if you wanna just work with that brush, you just click and hit Control I, and that will isolate the brush so that you can work with it. You can also do this with other uh, brushes as well. So you, I've got the floor and then that palette there, and I wanna isolate those two so that you know I'm just working with those. So there are other methods to do this later on with grouping and layers uh, that are more advanced and more powerful, but for now, that's how you isolate a brush. One thing I want you to note while we're working on these particular tutorials is that the texture lock icon should be off. That way when we move a brush around, the textures are just gonna be aligned with the world geometry and we'll get to all that stuff later when we get to textures. One of the reasons you would wanna keep it off is let's say we've got a, a texture here. With it off, I'm gonna copy the brush and it's gonna, the texture's gonna remain aligned to the world, but with it on, the texture's gonna kinda keep where it is. Now, this looks fine because this is a repeating texture. If this was like a button and we had it off, it kinda would mess us up a little bit. Oh, shoot. So you turn it on to lock the texture in place while you're moving things. There's no keyboard shortcut by default, so I use the icon. When you start a new map, you're greeted with the default brush. And so I'm gonna give this a face. So this brush lives at zero, zero, zero. That's the origin right in the center of the brush. When you first start a map, I want you to do yourself a favor and drag this down by 16 units and drag it to the corner. So as you can see, this is zero. I want you to line your corner there. And it doesn't really matter what corner or how, but what this is doing is when you start making brushes and you start texturing, you're gonna have trouble aligning textures if you don't do this. What happens is by default, you're starting at zero, but once you start adding brushes in, you can get issues. So for example, that's the top of the texture there. Here, I can change that. That's the actual top of the texture. So if we raise this guy up and we start from this starting point, the texture is correct here. It's just, it's a little quirk. It's not incorrect, but because I work at a 16 grid a lot of the time, it's caused me issues. And I always slap my forehead I'm halfway through a map and go, why didn't I do that? So before we get started, I wanna show you a couple of shortcuts that you'll wanna do. Now we're working on brushes. We don't need really textures or anything. So, and we also don't need the console down below. So we're gonna hit control four to get rid of the console on the issues area and we're gonna hit control five to get rid of the inspectors. So now we've got a much larger view. You can always get those back, control five and control four. I've got the brush tool, which is also B on your keyboard. Uh, and I'm gonna just drag out a brush. And once you drag this shape out, you hold down shift and drag it up to create the volume and then hit enter on your keyboard. Now this is similar to other editing programs. You heard me hit escape twice. That's how you disable tools. You can also click on that guy. Now I'm gonna grab this rivet texture by holding down shift and clicking, and then I'm gonna hit escape because that basically selects that into the clipboard for lack of a better term. I'm gonna hit B for brush tool, and I'm gonna drag out a shape on the wall, and then I'm gonna hold down shift and drag this guy across and hit enter. That's one way you can use the brush tool. Another cool thing about the brush tool is you can make more complex shapes with it. For this, I'm gonna use this view menu here. We'll get to this in more detail later. Click on view and I'm gonna hide the textures. So we're just flat shaded here and it's just easier to see the grid at this point. The brush tool's ready. I'm gonna click to kind of assign a vertex here and I'm just gonna follow it around and I'm using a large 64 grid for this. And we're just gonna drag it up with shift and hit enter. We'll go back to what it's gonna look like with textures. I'm trying to keep these tutorials as short as possible. So I'm gonna break up the brush tools into a number of different tutorials, one right after the other. Thanks for hanging in there. Come back for more Quake.